and welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal O. Uh, hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O and today I wanted to do a quick life update with you guys. So if you clicked on this video, I'm like 85 to 95% sure that you are already a subscriber of mine. So what is up? If you are not already a subscriber of mine, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button. But anyways, welcome to all who so happen to stumble upon this video. I usually do upload videos quite frequently, but as of recently, a lot has been going on and I just haven't had the time. Like I literally haven't had the time or the energy or just the creativity sometimes. So today I wanted to do a quick life update to let you guys in on a little bit of what's been going on in my life and just so you guys can get some insight as well. I feel like there's no need to keep you guys in the dark when what I'm going through could be really beneficial for you or could really be beneficial for me just talking about it and just being able to share with others. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this video. I have missed you guys so much. I have missed making videos. I have missed engaging with you guys. I have missed just the community, the social network interweb community. I've missed it so much. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and start this video. So, where have I freaking been? I haven't posted on Instagram in like a month and some days. I have just been MIA, but I have been on my Insta story pretty much like every day or every other day. So, I typically post on Insta story. So, if you aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram to keep up with what I'm doing on a day to day basis. Um, but as for actually posting, I just don't know. I just don't. I don't even take pictures like that anymore, guys, because I don't even have time to take pictures like that. But, anyways, let me just get to the point for this video. Yeah, let's do that. So the first thing, of course, the obvious elephant in the room is I have been in grad school for the past year. If you've been following me, you know that I am currently getting my master's in social work. And um, it's kind of just been this journey of learning and growing and practicing and understanding and also applying. But I think in this second year of my second year and my last year of the program, I'm currently in the hardest semester of the, the whole two years of the program. So it's really taken a toll on uh, my ability to make videos, the time I can spend making videos, the time I can use to edit making videos, and that's been really hard on me because I love creating videos for y'all, I love creating content, I love taking pictures, and it's been hard because I'm just like, man, like I feel like my creativity is being wasted or I just feel like, you know, I don't have this outlet anymore um, to push my creativity out through or just to share or just be a voice or just to be able to encourage or I don't know. I just love, I just love social media. I love the media period. So, um, and I love creating content. So I think that's a huge part of um, the eh when it comes to taking so much time off from doing that. Grad school has been great. Like I said, I will be wrapping up my whole master's program come May 2019. Boop, boop. So your girl is about to be out of here and just ready to take on the world and I don't know, bigger and better things are yet to come. Secondly on my list with an update would be my marriage. Of course that's coming up as well. Yeah, wedding, marriage, marriage, wedding. My <laughs> wedding is coming up um, in November so it's coming up really, really quickly and I think like a lot of times think people think that because there are pictures posted and you know it's just supposed to be perfect right like the relationship is supposed to be perfect things are supposed to be going well but the thing is wedding planning on its own is a whole nother job just of its own okay even though I have a wedding planner and my mother my mother-in-law is they're also involved and they're also invested but I think it just it's still hard you know I don't think that's just like this easy breezy process of just doing things and and magically all just comes together perfectly there are little things that I stress over like are they gonna get the bouquet colors correctly or you know are my bridesmaid stresses going to turn out right just a lot of things that can come into mind that can be little stressors that eventually add up and turn into big, big stress issues that cause, you know, just anger and frustration and anxiety. So I think that um, the wedding has definitely been um, probably another reason why I wouldn't be mostly on YouTube because I mean, we're still searching for stuff for the wedding and like on Pinterest, you know, pinning things for the wedding and communicating with my wedding planner and my mom and my mother-in-law and just trying to make sure that 
we're all on the same page because that's very, very important when you are planning a wedding. I think that also my fiance and I are in premarital counseling, so we're doing a lot of work in our relationship. And when it comes to doing a lot of work in your relationship, it takes, you, it takes a lot of time to invest into doing that work and into actually making a change. So in, you know, having to work on my relationship and make sure we are setting the best and firm and solid foundation for us going into marriage, I have to be dedicated to working on me, you know, pretty much working on me and us working on us. So um, that takes up a lot of my time as well and I'm not complaining about that because that's definitely important. No one wants to go into a marriage um, that's pretty much like hell. Like that's not my portion, that's not your portion, but it does require work, it does require time, it does require consistency, dedication, and that's one thing that I realized like I'm going to have to put some stuff on the back burner this year or semester because there's so much that I have to focus on right now that is immediately needing my attention. Um, so that's pretty much been kind of how wedding and getting married has kind of delayed my putting out of videos and has kind of feeded into that. But just a life update there would just be like, man, like we are almost at the final stretch. Um, I'm so thankful for everyone who has been so supportive through this process. It hasn't been the easiest process, but it's been worth it. It's been so worth it. And maybe in another video, I can share with you guys more about the hardships of, you know, this season or... The hardships of getting married younger, I guess. Like, I'm 24, so it's not the average age. I feel like culturally it'd be young, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah. Anyways, I'd love to share more about that and my fiance also being Nigerian as well. 26 is not the age that Nigerians typically get married at, especially a male Nigerian. Um, they typically get married around the 30s and that's kind of like ideal for them. So we definitely kind of broke those stereotypes and just broke the box of, you know, getting married um, when we were just completely finished with life and achieving what we needed to achieve. And then, you know, we just wanted to go ahead and make sure that um, we know that we're willing to put forth the necessary, you know, things that would create a healthy, flourishing marriage. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. Like I said, I really, really appreciate it. I will link the registry below if you want to bless us with a gift. It's not by force. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, it's in the description bar below. And it's been a great process, um, a very interesting process as well, but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, so the last thing on my list would be that I'm seeing a therapist. I have tried to see a therapist for, uh, you want to say the past two years? I've always just terminated services because I, well, in hindsight, I now see that I was just afraid to come face to face with my deepest, you know, trauma, deepest pains, and just deepest hurts. So um, I finally committed this last time to seeing a therapist and actually like trying to finish my sessions and successfully complete my work with my therapist. And I think being in a field where I'm trying to actually become a therapist made it 10 times harder for me to see a therapist because now I have the pride of, I don't need a therapist. I, I'm the one who's supposed to be the therapist for other people. Like, why would I see one? You know, like just that ignorance and pride of, well, I know it all, so why do I need to see a therapist? But it's like, no, trauma does not discriminate. Um, mental illnesses do not discriminate so why what makes me different you know so that was a really humbling process of just being able to, to have a therapist to actually you know commit to seeing my therapist and actually putting in the work to um, heal and grow and really just um, get what I need out of it because I can go to therapy that's not that's not hard the, the real work is going to therapy and actually using applying and growing from what you're learning. So that's been huge for me. Um, I do personally have a lot of childhood trauma that I feel I've kind of lived with for so long. And just, we all kind of had trauma throughout our lives. You know, we have these big T's, which are big traumas, and we have these little T's, which are small traumas. But, you know, I feel like I've accumulated a lot over my lifetime. And these then became very toxic for my relationship with my fiance. And I didn't really want to be like that. I didn't want to 
have toxic tendencies or have behaviors that are toxic so I really needed a change I really really needed to change and I had been praying and God help me and just you know everything that I needed to do everything that I thought I needed to do but it wasn't really changing um, so seeing a therapist was really 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 um, really really impactful for me it really changed the game really because I think therapy helps because it, it really involves a lot of you and it involves a lot of another person helping you understand and make sense of what's going on in your head and your behaviors and the patterns that you kind of do on a daily that aren't maybe toxic or unhealthy so I always tell people like you know I don't doubt that God can't cure any mental illness I don't doubt that God is not mighty enough to change someone's life or to heal someone of a sickness but I also do believe that God puts people like therapists doctors and so other else people in your life to help you maneuver through the hardships of life so I, I'm not a oh you know you have anxiety go pray it out like no like if you have anxiety pray and see a therapist if you have depression pray and see a therapist that's I mean to me that's community that's you reaching out to a community base and trying to work on it with someone who can help you carry that and leverage through whatever season you're in or whatever you're struggling with. So that's my small nugget on um, therapy. And I think that it's been really helpful for me, guys. Like, I mean, my fiance is a testimony or a testament to that, that, you know, um, therapy has really helped me and um, it really exposes you too. So if you're not ready to get exposed, you know, prepare yourself. Um, but I think for the most part, I have grown a lot. I have grown to understand uh, myself so much more in ways that I never thought I would. And that's been pretty great. Um, the last thing I would want to just say is like, man, like you are not responsible for what has happened to you in life. It's horrible. I mean, whatever has happened to you, it's, it's not your fault. You know, you didn't ask to be abused, neglected, mistreated, whatever else that would have caused you the trauma that you live and walk with daily. It's not your fault. But what becomes your responsibility is what you do with it. And what you do with it determines the health and just the fruitfulness of your life. So that's why I would urge everyone, if everyone in the world could get a therapist, even if they didn't have anything big they were dealing with, it would still be perfect because we all need someone who is equipped who is trained, keyword trained, to work with people and to help them maneuver through their thoughts, help them with interventions, and just help them through the process of all of that with, you know, education, with the knowledge of it, and with the insight that comes through it. So, um, yeah, this year or this semester has been really crazy, but y'all, I am hanging in there. Um, I'm choosing optimism over my pessimistic attitude. And I'm just being honest about things. You know, if it's hard, it's hard. But hey, God is still good. If I'm tired, I'm tired. But hey, it's not going to last forever. And this is my encouragement to you guys as well. That in whatever season you're in or whatever you're struggling with right now, you can say like, God, yes, it hurts. But I know you're a healer. Like, God, I'm tired. But I know you provide strength for me. And there's rest found in you, God. So... We have limitations. God doesn't. And I think that when we kind of divide the two up and see that on my own strength, yeah, I can't, but with God, I can. Or right now it sucks, but it won't be like this forever. It's temporary. It really, really helps give you that mind shift that you need. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap my video up here. It's been so great talking to you guys. Um, also, I'm about to hit 9,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it because your girl started at like two subbies and like negative two views like no one cared about my channel they're like who are you like if you are rocking with me since crystal's diary just comment below because you are a real og seriously you really are but um i need to find a name for you guys is it gonna be a c squad is it gonna be uh diamonds like i don't know like you guys help me out so what name would you guys want to be called c squad um I don't know I don't know but we'll, 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 we'll think about this and you guys will help me out because y'all are y'all are the homies um, so I'd love to hear back from you like I said before if you haven't already subscribed 
Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Um, I hope to talk to you guys next time, sometime soon, hopefully. Well, if not, you know the reasons why now because you have gotten this life update. But I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Okay, if not, catch me on Insta Story. Bye, y'all.